We'll come to Antigua and Barbuda. Good look there uh, at Quentin Griffith, 20 years of age, plays in the USL Pro Division with Antigua Barracuda. What do we expect tonight from the small Caribbean nation here against the United States? How do they play against that? Defensive shape was key. We talked to t Coach Tom Curtis yesterday. What did he say? Have numbers behind the ball, but once they receive the ball, keep it simple, very direct, play to their strengths, and that speed over the top, finding Dexter Blackstock. Twenty-three is Dexter Blackstock. All uh, a dangerous one, though. Played across the middle. Antigua Barbuda here, and here is Steve Chirundolo, who has just been such a wonderful servant to Hanover in the German Bundesliga, knocking it back to Tim Howard. Boca Negra now. Rudy Klinsman said, hey, we got to go after him with urgency tonight. Clarence Goodson has gotten the start at center back. Jermaine Jones now. Gerundolo, Jones, will switch to the point of the attack on the far side of the field to Torres now. Torres, Hercules Gomez of Santos winning a Mexican League title this year. Maurice Adu, Boca Negra. And now the ta talented and driven Michael Bradley. Stepping up there was Quinton Griffith. And this one knocked forward. So first free kick of this game will come to Antigua and Barbuda, who got out of a group with the U.S. Virgin Islands, Curacao, but the big win was o over Haiti, which set off a national uh, celebration. There is the man who was the architect of that, Tom Curtis, 7-4-2, and two, an Englishman, 39 years of age. Donovan, it's one back, and Griffin, We'll fire a little bit of a warning shot there, Taylor. No, and Griffith is going to get forward, but that's the key. If U.S. can win the ball and immediately find Landon Donovan or a counterattack, you're going to find spaces right behind Griffith in the back. 11th cap for Griffith, who has two goals internationally. Here's Dempsey. Michael Bradley, Chievo, and the Italian Serie A to Boca Negra now. And the field heavy now. Ball not really moving off people's feet very quickly with a heavy surface. Boca Negra. Torres is pushed high. Jose Torres. A magnificent skill set. Boca Negra. Chirundolo wide open here on the far side of the field if the U.S. can find him. It do now. Landon Donovan back to Maurice Adu. Of Rangers in Scotland. Clarence Goodson. Boca Negra. Could the U.S. be a little bit tentative here, Taylor? Early Is there a different nerve set going into this game as opposed to the friendlies? Of course. Your jitters are a little bit different, but what did Jurgen Klinsmann talk about this morning? There was two types of friendlies that he, he liked the Scotland game a lot recently because of the ball movement. One, two touches. What drove him nuts a little bit about Canada was it was too methodical. Too many touches moving east to west. The urgency needs to be there right from the get-go. So a quick look at Jurgen Klinsmann, the 47-year-old son of a baker who was a player. Won a European Championship with Germany in a World Cup. Over the top, this one will skip all the way back to Malvin James in his 12th appearance with the national team. And the most difficult part tonight, Glenn, of playing balls over the top is the ball's going to skip, so it's going to be more effective to keep it on the ground, one and two touch, combination play, and try to get Hercules Gomez and Landon Donovan in behind that back four. That was number 10, Kieran Murtaugh pushing forward for Antigua and Barbuda. Chirundolo now with his head up. Donovan, Bradley, nice circulation of the ball, and Jermaine Jones just can't keep it in play. The U.S. had almost broken down the right side here. 
How important is Jermaine Jones to the future of the national team? Very important. He has an engine, box-to-box -box player. His limitations are when he tries to do too much, but when he keeps it simple, allows Michael Bradley, Marisa Du, Landon Donovan to do this special stuff in the final third, he can be very important. Here is Torres, Michael Bradley, who uh, has got some other suitors now after his outstanding season at Kievo in Italy. Donovan brings it down, feathery touch to control it. Landon Donovan now with his head up. Maurice Adu. Jones. It is thick and heavy with yellow shirts of Antigua Barbuda. Jones. Gomez made a run to the far post towards Dempsey gets up. And the first corner kick for the United States. Set pieces so vital in these games. Especially early on when the jitters are there for the Antigua goalkeeper Mulvin James doesn't want to come off his line. Whip balls in front of him. Make life difficult for him to come off. Donovan to take it. Hercules Gomez standing in front. That near post Mulvin is vital. James swung in towards the six. Goodson was the target. Headed away by Joseph. Bradley will lob it forward. And another corner kick to the United States and Landon Donovan, Clint Dempsey in the mix. What a season for him. 86th appearance tonight for Dempsey. 25 goals with the U.S. national team as Carlos Bocanegra trying to get his foot gear right. The U.S. clearly the team to beat in this group. Donovan, Goodson, a lot of movement there. Driven into the box, a flick on Harris St. James, and stuffed in by Carlos Bocanegra. The United States are up inside of eight minutes. The start they were looking for. And this is such a perfect ball from Landon Donovan, but watch Hercules Gomez. Moving around, always active. Well done, but this is big time from Carlos Bocanegra to follow the play through. Tying the shoe, coming onto the field, but you see the play through. Hercules Gomez does a wonderful job to get something on frame. But Bocanegra doing his job, back post, knocking it home. 13th international goal. He has scored goals against big teams. Twice he has scored against Brazil. He has scored against the Netherlands. And there is no better way for a captain to lead, by example, just like that off the corner. But it's a little thing, right? And Landon Donovan sitting over there ready to take the corner kick. But who's off the field? Carlos Bocanegra. He sets the ball up, takes his time, allows the captain to get back on the field to score a goal. Just the start you would want. Here's Chirondolo now, Jermaine Jones. Rain continuing to pour down here at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Michael Bradley. Speared forward by Burton. And Tika Barbuda will continue to sit deep here. Carundolo. Donovan. Gomez. Torendolo making the overlapping run. Nothing doing there is stepping in to break that play up was Quentin Griffith again, the 20-year-old. Adu is called for a handball. Tenth minute. Tell you what, for 22,000 fans, heck of an atmosphere here at Raymond James in this inclement weather. It is, Glenn, but the next five minutes are vital for the United States to keep the pressure on. The inexperience of a country in your first time coming this far in a World Cup qualifier, do not allow them to get their feet under them, catch their breath. Keep the pressure on them in the final third. Over the top, the intended target there was Tamarly Thomas, a 28-year-old who plays for the Antigua Barracuda in USL Pro 3. And this is just, how often do you see players just give up knowing that the keeper most likely is going to catch the ball, but Bocanegra fouls the play through, rewarded with a goal. Jermaine Jones, Michael Bradley, 
Boca Negra now the captain. Dempsey will knock it back with an outstanding season Clint Dempsey had. And again broken up by Quentin Griffith who is uh, shining right now for Antigua and Barbuda. Blackstock chasing, Howard will drive it forward. Not a good ball from Howard, but it'll gracefully fall to the feet of Bradley. Torres now. Gomez is fouled and a heavy challenge coming from Mark Joseph, a 35 year old who was born in Leicester, England and playing in a lower division in England at Kendall Town. Good spot from Hercules Gomez to challenge that ball. Mark Joseph just coming in late with a high elbow. Here is Maurice Adu told me that, hey, listen, I'd be lying to you if I told you that uh, all the financial problems at my club, Glasgow Rangers, was not in my head. It is. Donovan's cross is blocked. It'll be another corner. That is where they were successful in the eighth minute. Donovan sitting on 49 goals, the all-time leading goal scorer for the United States off this corner. And near post right in front of Griffith. It's a dangerous spot. It's along the head towards the six. A good-looking ball. It's headed away. And up goes number 14, Randolph Burton. Adu heads it back in. The volley from Jones over the top. So Jermaine Jones getting into the box. Had a wonderful opportunity to drive that one for the U.S. second goal. Communication is so important because Jermaine Jones, this ball falls to him. He has more time. Difficult to hit that with his off foot. Could have taken him with his right. Schalke 04 in Germany for Jermaine Jones, who's a very big piece of this U.S. squad. Scored against Scotland in the recent friendly. Certainly one of the key points with him is emotional control, Taylor. And it's improved drastically after Schalke. He's become a leader there. Jurgen Klinsmann now can rely on him. He talks about his attitude, his professionalism, especially in the Brazil game. You saw that little bit of nastiness that Jurgen Klinsmann wants. A sense of fighting for balls on the sideline, winning balls, and getting forward. Boy, look at the strength and power from Jones there to win possession of that ball. They switch it quickly now to Torres. Bradley. And here's what Torres can give you from the left back position, pushing into the attack. Jose Torres towards the end line. Can he turn it back? Deuce. Dipsy shot his block. Moment of truth. Mark Joseph getting in front of the shot from Clint Dempsey. Look at this skill. It's the little fake, but it's the quick touch with his left foot that sets it up. Fourth corner, they play a short one. Michael Bradley now racing along the end line. Bradley safe, Melvin James. What a play from Michael Bradley, who tiptoed along the end line and unleashed the Fury James coming up with a huge save here in the 15th minute. Another corner for the U.S., number five now. Torres to take it. 